All right, it's maiden time for the sexy C1 Chaser. You can see I relented and did put some stickers on because uh, it looked a little bit nude, all just white. I've also put some uh, protective packing tape along the leading edge just so it doesn't get dented too easily. Mixing in uh, the Tyrannus X9 Lite, I have a 50-50 Elevon mix and 30% Expo, and we'll see how that is. I have a 4S uh, lithium iron pack in there for a change. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go, they're just recycled from a, an old vacuum cleaner. But, should be right. It's a pretty lightweight build. 730 grams at the moment. Push rods on the outer holes for the servo arm and the control horn. And that's the amount of throws. It's a fair bit of throw. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I have a Sunny Sky 2212 1100 kV motor with an 8x4 prop. Uh, I think 7 inch prop is going to be a lot better, that's a bit too close to the fins, it's going to make it a bit noisy I think. That's all I had though, uh, and I think what I'd really like to do is uh, extend the motor mount so that the motor sits further out like I've done with the FX61, it, it makes it a lot quieter, uh, you'd get better cooling from the motor as well. Uh, but we'll go with the stock motor mount to start off with, everything's going the right way, yes. Quite noisy. Alright, let's go. It's a beautiful day. A little bit of wind comes and goes, but not too much at all. I'm going to do a sidearm launch like that, which is my usual, usual way, because I value my fingers too much. Alright, ready to go. No reflex at all at the moment. Don't know if I'll need it or not. So I dipped a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. Backing the throttle right off. Wow. Oh yeah, that is sexy. Oh, there's that bit of wind that just <laughs> jumps up over that uh, bank there. Hardly need to trim it at all. It's a pretty lightweight at 730 grams. You probably can carry a lot more. But that's sort of going minimum speed there. Ramping it up a bit. It's not too noisy actually. Ooh, this is nice. Just a, a good sized wing. The FX61 is beautiful, but it's just a bit too big. And the um, Wing Wing Z84 is a sporty little fast wing. Just a little bit too small. This one is just Goldilocks. Just right. There is some down thrust in the motor mount, and that's obviously working perfectly. That's the motor off. Trim it up a little bit, I think. Oh, this is a nice wing. Begging for um, flight control board and INAV and FPV and all of that. All right, I'll put a camera on and we'll see how wiggly it is. Let's see the glide. I think this will be a good slope sawyer as well. Coming gliding now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Very nice indeed. All right, camera time. Heaps of climb, even with that uh, second-hand rescued lithium-ion pack. I haven't got a current sensor on it, unfortunately. I should find out what current draw is. That's flying nicely. Looks really smooth.
heading off down the track I've got an RX 6R receiver in there or an RX 4R so and my um, Tyrannus X9 light so my range is going to be fantastic makes a bit of noise but not outrageous nowhere near as bad as the FX61 Go for a glide. Holding a bit of back elevator because I've got a bit more nose weight now, of course. Here we go again. Yeah, it takes off easily. So I think probably the easiest wing I've found to fly, the less fu least fuss, is the um, AR wing, Sonic Model AR wing. And this is just as easy to fly, but feels like it's got uh, the potential to have more power and go faster and smoother and carry more gear. That's my thoughts. Uh, I have bigger batteries, smaller batteries. Let's try some bigger batteries anyway. Oh, let's, let's check the CG does well with the camera on. Woo! That <laughs> was close. So the CG at the moment is right on the on the uh, foam nipples, the recommended CG marks. If I change to a Zippy 2200 uh, 4S so the CG's moved a little bit further back with this one. Let's see how this goes. It's still going okay. Need to do some high speed passes, don't we? Now that we've got the LiPo in. It's flying fine, with the CG back a little bit further. I think it was drawing 18 uh, amps at full speed, so it's no dramas. Full speed, woohoo, that is quick. Yeah, it's a speedy fella, nice and efficient. Be a good fast FPV wing, I think. Gets a bit wiggly in the side wind, which you'd expect. Having to hold forward pressure a little bit. Very good. That's nice. And I've got a 3S. Let's try a 3S uh, 3000. And because this is a longer battery, may well move the CG back. Oh. Let's see how we go. 3S3000. CG is now probably on the back of the wing spar. Going nose up a bit, but yeah, nice, still flying beautifully. Third throttle.
just for cruising around. Need a bit more than that. Need probably half throttle on 3S to cruise around nicely. Yeah, easy to fly. Nice swing. Probably he likes to fly a little bit faster, I would say. Just to keep it smooth and tracking nicely. Bit of side wind there. Bit to do the obligatory. Big loop, no worries. Pull out inverted. Yeah, no problems at all. Fast-ish roll with the throws that I've got. Very competent, capable, great looking wing. C1 Chaser, yeah. Just a nice size, beautiful, efficient performance. Nice and cheap too. Hard to catch. Yes, it is a beautiful wing. Uh, it's got that lovely, sinuous, sexy, efficient shape. Uh, none of this sort of brutal added on fins on the wingtips and rubbish like that. It's a really nice size. Uh, enough room, I think. I'll have to try a flight control board in there. See, I mean, people do it, so it must be possible. A little bit wiggly in the crosswind, I think, but I wasn't flying it very fast. Um, I'm sure if you loaded it up and flew it fast, it'd be pretty smooth. Very nice. I like it a lot. So that's the C1 Chaser, 1.2 meter wing. Thanks for watching.